The Samajwadi Party and the Trinamool Congress are keeping the government on edge. A crucial presidential election looms. There's already a lot of talk of midterm elections. So on center stage this evening, we're debating, will UPA last through the summer? And to join me on this debate, I've got with me in the studio M.J. Akbar, editorial director of India Today magazine. Thank you very much sir, for joining us. We've got Mani Shankar Ayya, member of parliament of the Congress. We've also got Subramanyam Swami, national president of the Janta Party and now officially a member of the NDA. Uh, we've got Tari Kanwa, member of parliament of the NCP joining us as well. And I want to put my first question to Mr. Akbar. Do you think, sir, your magazine in fact has put this on the cover page this time, will UPA survive the summer? Do you think the government will last through the budget session and till beyond the summer? Well, as long as there's nothing to do with sentiment, the government's chances look a little shaky. Why? Because the political parties, you know, just as uh, Mrs. Sonia Gandhi, and very rightly so, said that the Congress had time, two more years in order to repair the enormous damage that it seems to have already done, not only to the country, but to itself. Similarly, there are parties within the alliance who do not have time who do not want time because their point of maximization of their support into seats, particularly into parliament seats, is now. I mean, let us take this very simply in Bengal. Uh, you know, Mamta Banerjee is very easily criticized as this or that or the other, but she speaks out of self-interest, which is indeed what all politicians do. When she wants an early election or hints it, it's because she knows that if she is not able to change Bengal's economy, we improve things without the financial package and so on, she will be defeated two years later. But at this moment, the residual effect of the Mamta wave is sufficiently strong for her to increase her, street, you know, her seats from 19 to 28. So let's take a look at some of the India Today estimates of what might happen if there were to be midterm elections and why is it that these parties are hankering for midterm polls? The Samajwadi party which got 23 seats in the last elections is hoping that it could push its tally up to 40 to 45 if elections were held now. The TMC which got 19 is hoping to push it up to 25 to 30. The AIA BMK from 9 MPs to about 25. So you are right. saying Mr. Akbar right. that there are several allies of the UPA who have a vested interest in calling snap polls, if these allies were to move away, then the government is short of numbers. Manishanka Aya, it seems within the UPA there are now allies that want to bring the government down. Do you think we're gearing up, sir, for midterm elections? I see no prospect of that whatsoever. The entire edifice of uh, my friend MJ Akbar's argument is based on the shaky foundation that Mamata Banerjee would find it more advantageous to herself to go into a parliamentary election now than later. But if she brings down the UPA in order to get her midterm election, then there would not be an alliance between the Congress and the TMC. And if the ranks of the non-left front parties is divided once again, then it's the left front that's going to gain. 